Today we are going to get groceries and that is pretty much the extent of what I plan to do today. Um, I ordered every plate so I'm trying it again. Um, I know a lot of you, of you have already seen that first every plate video but if you aren't familiar with every plate or you've never seen it, if you've never seen any videos about it or heard of it before, it's a meal delivery service. So basically you go onto the website, you pick the meals that you want, you pick the frequency of how often you want them delivered you pick how many meals you want and you pick how many servings you want so for me i did five meals so basically a full week's worth of meals and then also did four servings per meal because obviously i have a bigger family but you can either do two servings or four servings and you can do um i believe three four or five meals for the week so yeah i think it's going to be delivered on wednesday or Thursday so I really don't have to buy too much stuff today I'm really just focusing mainly on breakfast food and I have some stuff in the house that I can cook for those first few days in the week um, until the every plate order comes so that's what I'm doing today just going to the grocery store grabbing a few things and um, yeah that's basically it so I figured I would take you guys along for like a shop with me and then we'll do of course a grocery haul at the end so yeah I'm gonna just listen to my book and I will see you guys at the grocery store. Take me somewhere far away from here, from here. Take me somewhere far away from here, from here. So we just finished at Trader Joe's. I tried to show y'all all the new stuff they had. There really wasn't like a ton of new stuff because I was just here last week. But um, I did see a few things that I could point out to you guys as new product. So if you want to try any of that stuff, you might want to go ahead and go before it gets too late. But yeah, so now um, I'm in the same place I was last week where it's Trader Joe's, Aldi, and Lidl kind of all in the same area. So I'm just about to go to Lidl and then Aldi and then I'll be heading home. This is not weird. I don't know what is. That's crazy. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out. It's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living. 
to really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy Loving to live forever But it all comes down to you You are my anxiety It's more than a feeling Walking downtown and I'm okay Eyes on me, I don't know what to do So I smile and I wave right. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing Everyone's looking like they know what I'm pursuing I'm trying not to give them the time of day It's easier said than done So I ended up going in Aldi first just because I came to it first. But Lidl is right across the street, so I'm gonna go there next. The only thing I need from Lidl is some turkey bacon and eggs, and that is it. Which I'm hoping they still have that large, like the 40 ounce pack of um turkey bacon. Cause we really went through that this week and it's like a really good deal. So if you see that, I would definitely get it. You can always freeze it, like section it into smaller portions and freeze it. Um, but we had breakfast for dinner last night, so that took up a big chunk of it. And we've been eating it all week. So um, everybody loves it. I'm trying to get more, so I'm hoping they have more. I'm done after that. Um, I tried to get all the new stuff in Aldi. I did see quite a bit of new stuff, like in the Aldi Fine section. Um, I saw some weird stuff. <laughs> like that black currant and coconut and ginger coffee. I don't know what the heck. That is the weirdest thing that I've seen in a minute as far as food goes. But yeah, so Aldi's done. Trader Joe's is done. Lidl is next and then I am ready to go home and we can do this grocery haul. Oh, and then I have a Target pickup and I'm done after that. So yes. And this parking lot makes me not even want to go. <laughs> it looks packed over there. All right, so I'm officially back from the store. Went ahead and got my Target pickup order. Also got everything else. So let's go ahead and start with this grocery haul. I'm just gonna start with Target since that's what's in front of me. I ended up getting a lot of salad kits from there because I told y'all last week they were on sale and that started on Sunday. So today was the last day to get the salad kits for $2.99 and today is Saturday. So I got this, another one of these Southern sweet potato salad kits. This was actually really good. I thought the maple bacon one was way too sweet, but this one had like the perfect amount of sweetness. That sweet potato vinaigrette, I don't know what they put in it, but it's really good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you guys trying that one. And also, there's like slight differences in all the salad kits that you get from different stores. So like, even though they might be, they might sound the same, a lot of times they taste different. They have different dressings, there are just differences between salad kits at different places or different brands of salad kits. So this one is the Avocado Ranch. And I've never tried it from Target before. The one at Aldi is grown on me though. <laughs> but I've never tried it here. So this one has green cabbage, romaine lettuce, carrots, taco cheese blend, green onion, crisp corn, and cilantro. And then it has an Avocado Ranch dressing. And then the Southern Sweet Potato one has romaine lettuce, radicchio, butter grits, croutons, cheddar cheese, uncured bacon, and sweet potato sticks. And the sweet potato sticks are kind of in the packaging with the croutons and you don't really taste, I don't really taste sweet potato at all, but the flavor of everything together and the combination of it, of it all is really good. And then also got the um, avocado toast one. Never tried this one either. I don't think I've ever tried their avocado ranch salad or their avocado toast salad, I don't think. Um, but this one has green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, real Haas avocado. I'm assuming that's in the ranch. Red cabbage, red cabbage, carrot, kale, shredded white cheddar cheese, and green onion. Um, and it comes with an avocado ranch. So that's that. And then the last one I got was the Southwest salad. And I kind of went back and forth about getting this one because I wasn't sure 
if I wasn't sure if it was gonna because the okay so the Southwest salad at Trader Joe's I'm not really the, big, the biggest fan of because I, I'm not it's the dressing for me <laughs> that makes me not really care for it that much but just because it's a vinaigrette versus like a creamy dressing but this one has a creamy dressing so this one has green cabbage romaine lettuce carrot pepitas which is like pumpkin seeds I think green onion tortilla strips and cilantro and then it also has creamy cilantro pepita dressing so I've never tried this one before hopefully it's good but I haven't been disappointed mm, yes I have <laughs> I was gonna say I've never I haven't been disappointed by the um, target salads yet but I didn't really care for the maple bacon one but that was just because of the dressing so we'll see we'll see how I like it I'll let you guys know I'm planning on having salads pretty much every day this week and like I said we're doing every plate for dinner so yeah and if you're interested in trying every plate, I will leave a code below so you can get $20 off of your order if you wanted to, if you wanted to um, try it out or you just want to get some money off and you are planned on ordering anyway. And then I also got some strawberry yogurt. I've been buying yogurt pretty much every week in these kind of larger containers and I just decided to get the strawberry kind this time because that's what they had at Target. Um, and they love strawberry yogurt just like they like the vanilla yogurt. So it's just a change a change up from the norm that we've been getting. And then they had a, um, if you guys are shopping at Target this week and you're shopping in the app, make sure you definitely check out their the Target Circle offers because those are always in there. And this week it was spend 25, well it might be too late by the time you watch this video to take advantage of this particular offer but there's always target circle offers so when you go through and create your list in the target app always scroll down a little bit so you can see if there are any offers available for the items you're buying so this week the good and gather products were all if you spend 25 dollars, you get a five dollar gift card so um but for some reason inside the app only one of these salads was coming up as part of that deal i don't know why i know it was like a malfunction a malfunction in the system somehow but i wasn't really tripping so also got some chicken wings which I realized that the offer was there because I was buying buying the chicken wings and then I just started adding other stuff to the cart that I was planning on buying anyway so I just ended up getting some of the groceries that we needed from Target just because it was I was going to benefit from the offer so I got some chicken wings and I've had a really hard time lately finding chicken wings in the stores I don't know what it is but I haven't really been able to find them. So I've been craving chicken wings. And I was like, let me go ahead and grab some. So they were like $8 per bag. But there was an offer for those as well. For buy one, get one 20% off. So that's why I bought two bags. Well, I bought two bags too because one bag is not enough for my family. If I'm making wings, we definitely need more than one bag for all of us to be full. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty good deal because they were $8 a bag. And then I got 20% off the second bag. So it ended up being like $15 per for both of them or something like that and then of course the salads were $3 as opposed to $3.99 they were $2.99 so that was another deal I ended up saving like $8 in the end on everything that I bought and then I also ended up with a $5 Target gift card so it definitely pays to look at those Target Circle offers because they can save you a lot of money and then I told you guys that I I told you guys two weeks ago <laughs> that I buy sugar pretty much every two weeks at this point so it was right on time where I think we're down to the last little bit of sugar in there so I went ahead and added this just so I could hit that $25 um, threshold to get the $5 gift card because I was going to need to buy sugar anyway this week and then I also got some unbleached flour which is just a better option than the white flour um, but the difference is like if you buy the unbleached unbleached flour from Wegmans is still white but if you buy it from Target it's not it looks more like a whole wheat flour so I don't know what the difference is between the two I don't know how they're both how they're both unbleached but one is brown but anyway this was like a dollar 69 or something like that and yeah so any baking that I do this week I'll probably either you just use this or use a combination of this and white flour we'll see and then I also got some brown sugar just something else that I like to always have on hand in case I want to do some baking. It's just one of those things. And plus the kids like to use it in their oatmeal. So they like the brown sugar flavor oatmeal. Because I always buy the like the normal 
big can of um or big canister of oats the unsweetened unflavored oats and then they can kind of just turn them into whatever kind they like typically their favorite kind is chocolate oatmeal so they'll do like sugar uh, cocoa powder and a little bit of salt but they also like the brown sugar oatmeal and sometimes they'll do choc not chocolate sometimes they'll do peanut butter oatmeal too so those are the kinds they like the most and then the last food item that i got from target is something that i'm kind of excited about it's this birthday cake flavored um kodiak cakes so and it has sprinkles i've tried the kodiak cakes before and i actually really do like them um they have 14 grams of protein per serving for a half cup serving is it's 190 calories and you get 10 servings per box so these are five dollars for any of the flavors of the kodiak cakes and you can also add extra protein by using milk or by using eggs things like that to kind of give you even more protein if you're worried about that kind of thing but yeah these had excellent reviews five star reviews all across the board everybody was saying they taste like um fun fatty cupcakes so i'm here for that <laughs> i'm sure my kids are too even though i'm not sure if i'm going to share with them <laughs> but yeah so the last thing i got is this so i told you guys i was looking for a new coffee maker and i've really been wanting to have a french press and that way i can kind of just pour hot water over my coffee grounds and let it sit in this french press for overnight or whatever pop it in the fridge and um then just leave it in there and that way I can always have strong coffee ready to go that's already cold and go ahead and pour it into my container to make my iced coffee because for some reason hot coffee has not really been sitting well with me lately and I'm a I'm a cold coffee I'm an iced coffee fanatic at this point so I figured this would make a really good um, kitchen tool for me and it's actually really cheap and it makes 51 ounces of coffee I was gonna get a, a, a French press at Oh, it actually says it's a cold brew coffee maker. Okay. I was just thinking it was a French press. So it's actually for that purpose, which, okay, I'm here for that. Um, I, I typed in French press and this is what I got. But I was in Ikea the other day and I was going to order, I was going to buy their French press, which was like $9, but it was only a 34 ounce container. So this is, I checked the app, the Target app before I left and this one was 51 ounces. So I was like, let me go ahead and wait and get that one. Cause this one was only $12.99. So I'll go ahead and link this below. If you guys want to check it out at Target and they also have it at Amazon, but it's more expensive on Amazon. So I'll link both in case you don't have a Target near you or you just don't want to pay for shipping because you know you got to spend $35 to get free shipping at Target. If you aren't ordering other stuff, then it will definitely be better for you to just get it on Amazon and pay the couple extra dollars. But if you have a Target near you and you can do like a Target pickup or you're planning on ordering other things, then you can get free shipping from Target. It just takes a lot longer to get your stuff. So that is everything I got from Target. Now moving on to Trader Joe's. I just love me some Trader Joe's, y'all. I got the, some of the whole wheat lavash. This is not the first time I've bought this. It's 180 calories for this entire square. And it's actually pretty big, bigger than my head. But um, these make the best pizzas. So all you gotta do is top it with a little bit of some spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce and then go ahead and add your toppings. I did the other day, I made one and I did um, cheese i did mozzarella cheese the frozen pepper blend some diced onion and some turkey sausage pieces i'm sorry turkey bacon i just like cut the turkey bacon up into little strips and it was so so good that turkey bacon is good for everything but yeah so it makes amazing pizzas i would definitely recommend this and if you don't have a trader joe's near you hopefully you have a wagman's because they do sell it there as well and then you probably could have, and if you don't have either of those, you can probably get it from some kind of specialty store like Sprouts or somewhere like that. But yeah, so those are your options. I don't know, I really don't know where else you can get it, but I'm sure you can get something similar if you can't get that exactly. But yeah, that's where I know for sure you can get it. And then also got some Persian cucumbers. This is just one of those things we buy almost every single week. I like the mini cucumbers better than any other kind. I got some Island Soyaki. So this is basically a teriyaki sauce. I've been looking for a lower sugar teriyaki sauce and I was checking in Aldi the other day and they had it, but it was like, uh, what was it? Like 
15 grams of sugar or something per serving and the serving was like two tablespoons so I was like um it's a no for me so I went with this one instead this one is five grams of sugar per tablespoon so I'm assuming so yeah the other one was probably also a serving size was probably also a tablespoon but I, this one is way less sweet so I'm gonna go with this one I have some um boneless skinless chicken thighs in there and I can make like teriyaki chicken with and serve it with rice and either broccoli or green beans so that can be one meal that we can have before we get the every plate meals and then this is also a staple y'all have seen this I don't know how many times now but it's the maple and agave blend I use this now to sweeten my coffee so I'll just put the half and half in my coffee I'll use my I'll make a um iced coffee and put half and half in it and then add some of this and this sweetens it perfectly and that way I can kind of avoid a lot of the chemicals in the coffee creamer so yeah loving that that's definitely something I've been doing lately and, and enjoying and sometimes I'll also do like a squirt of caramel sauce if I have it but I don't have that right now so this week I'll probably be doing plain caramel I'm sorry plain iced coffee maybe add a little bit of vanilla flavoring in it and sweetening it with this so that's what I'm ha that's what I've been doing lately. I'm gonna show you guys that um, in an upcoming video. Also, I got some peanut butter, and if you know the Trader Joe's peanut butter, this kind anyway. The un the um, what is it? I think they have one that has sugar in it, but this one doesn't. So this one is just the plain um, natural peanut butter has dry roasted peanuts and salt, and that's it. You can also get the unsalted peanut butter. They have both, so you can do unsalted or salted and you can do crunchy or creamy so you have four options for unsweetened peanut butter at Trader Joe's and then uh, my husband is out of wine so I went ahead and got him a California red blend from Trader Joe's and there it's their like house brand of wines it's called Charles Shaw so I got the red blend and this one has the highest alcohol by volume of any of the wines that I've seen within this price range at any store it's 12 12 and a half percent so I'm not sure if he'll like this or not I've never even seen this before let alone purchased it but um we'll see if he likes it and yeah so one bottle and then I also got him the beer that he likes from there he likes the simpler times lager so I went ahead and picked up two boxes of this and these oh and the wine was $3.49 these are $3.99 each so I got two of these and the total for Trader Joe's was $25 and the total for Target was $51 I want to say y'all already know what I got at Lidl but we can go ahead and knock that out so I got the very last pack of the uncured bacon I'm so happy that I found it um if I would have been like 10 minutes later I probably would have missed it and then I got two of the extra large eggs which are a really good deal right now not sure why but I'll take it so yeah I got two of the eggs one of the turkey bacon and the total there was eleven dollars and like fifty cents something like that sixty cents I know I said I wasn't going to buy that much stuff but apparently I don't know how to go to the store without spending a bunch of money <laughs> And especially when you factor in that I bought other stuff besides just like normal groceries. I got a coffee maker and got some other stuff. So, and I got some specialty items like this and, you know, just some stuff that I normally don't get. So, yeah, ended up spending quite a bit of money, even though I ordered every plate this week. But, yeah, so now moving on to Aldi, which is our last. No, it's not. <laughs> I was about to say it's our last store, but I ended up going to one more store and I'll show you all what I got from there. But um, I got some grapes from Aldi because we pretty much a staple. I buy I have to buy fruit every week, and we were running low, so I needed to buy a few things. Also got some apples. They were on sale for a dollar eighty nine this week at Aldi, and by the time you see this video, sh the sale should still be going. I don't know where you guys live, but um, always check your circulars because you never know what's on sale that you might need I don't know if y'all are like me and you don't mind going to a few different stores I know I live in an area where everything is usually like right there bundled and clustered together but if you don't then that might not even be something you would be willing to do it might be like Aldi is 20 miles in this direction and Lidl is 20 miles in that direction and you gotta pick which if that's the case 
totally understand but it's good to know what your options are so i always like to check the um sale papers and then i got some avocados another staple in my house another weekly staple the mandarin oranges buy these every single week like clockwork without fail also got some 12 grain bread and I actually made French toast with this this week and it was really, really good. So I would highly recommend this bread for French toast. Not only is it filling, it's a whole grain. Um, does it have, I don't think it has any sugar either. Um, oh, two grams of added sugar. So not too bad. What is it coming from? Oh, it's actual sugar. Okay, yeah. And then I got, this was really part of the reason why my total was so high. These pouches that I buy for the kids but this is just a really easy way to make sure they get their fruits in for the day when I buy these applesauce pouches so I got the 12 count of the cinnamon applesauce and um, like I said this is just a really easy way to make sure they get because they get fruit because they really like these but they are kind of high these were like $4.69 for a 12 pack and then I also got two of the four packs. I got the strawberry and I also got the peach. So these were $1.69 each and then though the apples, the larger pack with the cinnamon applesauce was $4.69. So it was like $8 for these applesauces, which is, that's expensive. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. And it'll be gone in like two days because they eat those things like they're going out of style. But it's worth it because they get that nutrition and that it's hard for them to get in when they don't really feel like eating an apple or, you know, it's just hard sometimes to get kids to eat the right things um, because they just, Corey right now is definitely in a phase where she won't, doesn't really want to eat anything. There's very few things she actually wants to eat. So, and that's one of the things that she really likes. So I think it's worth it to buy that so that I can guarantee that I'm going to get some nutrition in her for the day. And then I also got some Kobe Jack shredded cheese and some mozzarella cheese. This we usually use for any dishes that we're making for the week. Don't I just keep this on hand. Either this or the Mexican. I keep this on hand almost all the time. They put it in eggs. They put it in grits. Just pretty much anything and then this one is specifically for the lavash pizzas that we're going to be having one day this week so yeah that's all the cheese i got this week which is kind of like a low-key cheese <laughs> a week for me because normally i buy like uh, sliced cheese as well but because we're doing every plate i don't really need that much stuff and then i got a couple snacks so i got some of the extra extra toasty crackers this is my favorite one from Aldi and I got two bags of chips too. So I got the toasted round, so tortilla chips basically, but in the rounds. And then I got the sour cream and cheddar as well. So that's all the snacks that I got for the kids and myself for the week. And then for my husband, I got his normal lunch lunchbox snacks so he always gets the oatmeal cream pies and then he always gets some peanuts too so this is for him and i have one more thing to show you guys after this grocery haul because i think you will want to see it so stay tuned until the end because i have one more like i told y'all i was going to show y'all that but i want to follow through um i got some half and half again for my coffee some grits we used the last of it yesterday because we had breakfast for dinner so i like to keep these on hand all the time and i got some coffee because we ran out this week and this is my second time trying the dark roast but i really want to try it i was brewing it the normal way i really want to try it um in that cold brew coffee maker and see how it turns out see if i like it that way so it'll be interesting to see if i actually like this coffee as a cold brew so that is my mission for this week to see how it tastes and then this was one of those new items that i found at aldi it's the um parmesan garlic wing sauce i've never seen these wing sauces there before so i was kind of happy to like run across it um 
because obviously I have wings and I need some kind of, I could just season them and pop them in there and eat them that way. I was going to do bar buffalo because I have that honey buffalo sauce from Lidl that I got a couple weeks ago. If you remember, but yeah, so that now we have two options. We can just, we can do either Parmesan garlic or we can do honey buffalo wings. And then the last things that I got from Aldi, oh, I got a gallon of milk. Also got some more coffee creamer. This one is for my husband. I'm probably most likely not going to be using this this week. And then, of course, I got him his flavored waters for his lunch. So I got three of the strawberry and two of the key lime. So again, something we buy every single week. I buy him his lunchbox snacks and his um, flavored waters every single week so that he has um, drinks and snacks for his lunch. Here's my gallon of milk. And then because I was starving <laughs> and I knew I didn't want to have to come home and cook, I stopped at Safeway and got this. So they had this meal deal, this $10 meal deal. So what you do is you pick a protein, usually like a chicken, so a whole rotisserie chicken or eight pieces of like the roasted chicken or eight pieces of fried chicken. You also get a side order and you also get rolls. So basically just pick it from the little hot area. It's already bagged up and everything. You pop it into one of these bags, which they have laid out, and then they scan the tag that's on the bag when you check out. So that's how the process works. So because I didn't feel like cooking and I knew I would want something to eat, I went ahead and grabbed that. So you get, it's a meal for four. So you get four of the Hawaiian rolls. And then you also get, I chose the fried chicken. So I got the eight piece fried chicken. And then for the side dish, I chose macaroni and cheese because I know that's what the kids would like the most. And that whole meal was $10, which is not bad for everybody to be able to eat something. I think what I'm going to do though is put mine with the salad. So I'll have like a chicken breast and salad. And that'll be my lunch. I don't need the roll. And then because I was starving, I also got donuts <laughs> at Safeway, which not the best move on my part, but you know, hey. We're human. It is literally 2.46 and I've eaten nothing today with the exception of stopping at McDonald's for an iced coffee. So I went ahead and got some donuts because I was just so hungry. And um, I got 12 of them and those were $6 for a dozen. And yeah, so my total at Safeway was $16 and some change. And like most, most grocery stores, you can pick out your own donuts but when I got home the kids attacked them so they all got one but I chose some glazed donuts I also got some like chocolate cake donuts a chocolate glazed cinnamon roll more glazed and a vanilla um, yeast donut so there were more in, more in here but like I said everybody already got one and that is it for my grocery haul that's everything can I help you what are you doing there. What the applesauce? Uh -huh. Okay, give me a minute and let me show you how the last thing I got. So I ordered this from Amazon for my husband. It is an electric lunchbox, and this is what it looks like. I didn't even know that these existed, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> let me check because most things exist. If you look for it, you'll find it. So what it is is it's a lunchbox. You can go ahead and load your food up inside here. You just put your food in the canister. But what makes it unique is that it comes with some ooh, comes with some utensils. So you get like a spoon inside there. You also get a little vent right here that you can use to let the steam out like that. And then it comes with two plugs. So you can use it with a car charger or you can use it with a normal house plug. And you plug it in like 30 minutes to an hour before you're ready to eat and by the time you come back to your car or by the time you come back to your lunchbox your food is hot and ready to go this for us has been a lifesaver because it makes it really easy for me to be able to pack him a hot lunch like leftovers because not only does he work outside pretty much 70 percent of the time he also doesn't have like an office he does heating and air conditioning he's usually on a rooftop somewhere he's not at the same place every day it's always a different location so with this he can always have a hot lunch 
ready to go and all he has to do is just go down to his car and plug it into the cigarette lighter and then he's ready to go if he just does that like 30 minutes to an hour before he's ready to eat he has a hot lunch he can come out of the cold and have a warm lunch so he was like this was the best money i've ever spent <laughs> and i was happy that he liked it it also comes with a container so if you want it to be able to do like a cold option too he has his lunchbox his he has a cooler that he takes to work too and he puts a, like a um ice packs in it so that's where his drinks and stuff like that'll go and then if he wanted to take some fruit or something like that he could just pop it into here and leave it in his cooler and just take out his actual lunchbox and have hot and have hot and cold food so it's really been working out it also comes with this little pouch that you put the lunchbox in so you get this kind of like um insulated pouch put, put the lunchbox directly into it here are the plugs so if he did happen to have a normal plug he could use that or if he wanted to use the cigarette lighter plug he also has the option to do this so yep it comes with both and you can just kind of pick and choose which one you want to use he just keeps both of them inside this container and use this end to plug it in to the actual lunchbox with this little opening right here so you just plug it in and then you will plug this into the wall and once you plug it in the light comes on and you know it's warming your food and of course you vent it at the top so that the steam can escape and that is literally it so yeah I thought this was like a super cool little thing it's also not that expensive I think it's maybe like thirty dollars so definitely worth it if you are somebody who works outside or you just don't have access to plugs or um, you travel a lot for work or anything like that. This is definitely something that I would consider investing in because it's just nothing like being able to have a hot meal <laughs> and not always having to have salads or sandwiches for lunch to be able to take leftovers. Not only does it cut down on the amount of work you have to do because I do not like packing lunches. Like if I can just give him leftovers and pack it up the night before. When I'm putting the food away, the net works perfectly for me. I love being able to do that. And then, oh, one more thing it comes with. I'm sorry. It did come with one more thing, which I'm not really sure what this is for. I'm thinking maybe you put this on your lap to keep it from burning you. But the, the, the outside of the lunchbox itself doesn't get hot. So I don't know what that's for. Maybe if you want to take the um, metal part out of the lunchbox not sure but that's what it came with and then it also came with this little mini fork and spoon set too it came with that little white spoon but it also came with these little mini forks fork and spoons which they are really small they're like smaller than my hands but yeah i had to show y'all that because it's just such a cool little thing to be able to have a hot lunch if you don't work in an office or you don't have access to a microwave at lunchtime yeah he is loving it I'm loving it for him. I'm loving it for myself. <laughs> and I think that is it, y'all. So uh, that is everything I bought today. That's everything new that I have. And